Occasionally, you might need to change the selected batsman. Maybe you accepted the next person in the batting order as the incoming batsman when the batting order had been changed. It is not necessary to undo the wicket to force the incoming batsman box to reappear. You can simply click the down arrow in the striker or non-striker's name in the play control panel and choose the correct batsman from the list of eligible players. Even if play has continued for a while before you noticed the incorrect player, you can still use this method to replace one of the two current batsmen. If you attempt to change a batsman who has already taken part in the match, the autocorrect box will appear, asking if you want to change the player for the entire innings. Click on Yes and the new player will replace the current batsman, with all balls received reallocated to the correct player. Click on No in the autocorrect box and you will be offered the chance to retire the current batsman, either out or not out, and insert the new batsman from this point onwards. If you need to swap over the striker and non-striker, use the Swap Batsman button next to the striker's name in the Play Control panel. If this action would cause the unexpected batsman to be on strike, the autocorrect box will appear, offering some reasons for the change. Click on Yes, batsman crossed, if they did cross on the previous delivery, such as when a catch was taken. Click on Yes, run short, if the previous delivery was a short run, but you did not use the short run button before recording the runs. Click on No, switch batsman anyway if you need to switch them for any other reason. Batsman crossed and run short are known events and will be marked as such in the ball by ball window and various printed reports, but otherwise the effect is the same whichever option you select. The batsmen will be switched round in the play control panel and the previous delivery will be underlined to indicate that the batsmen are now at unexpected ends for the number of runs scored.